Hi, I'm Hal Barker for Pro Football Weekly, along with our senior editor, Mike Wilkening. And, Wilkie, we continue our series of training camp opening reports. We've covered all 32 clubs. Here we'll take a look at the Baltimore Ravens. And, boy, there hasn't been a more consistent team in the NFL the last four years getting to the playoffs, even winning a playoff game, but they can't get over the hump. What were the big moves this offseason in free agency and in the draft that figured to make a difference for them? You know, I think they tried to shore up the offensive line a little bit. Signing Bobby Williams gives them another option at guard. Jacoby Jones, as a return. Turner could be a real asset for them. Another speed guy on the outside, too, at wide receiver. I think he might be a guy that could pay some real dividends for them. All right, we talk about the rookies, Courtney Upshaw, Kelechi Osimeli, of course. On offense, as they go to training camp, what's the real number one priority? You know, Ray Rice has not got a contract. He'll probably play with his franchise tender. Joe Flacco wanted the big deal. What are they going to focus on in training camp? It's got to be more consistent. And I think they have to make more plays in the passing game. They made some strides in that area last year. I think Joe Flacco, the way he played in the AFC title game, is a real positive for this offense. But you'd like to see this offense take the leap. They just haven't put it all together with Flacco, Cam Cameron, the coordinator. I think this is a huge year for both guys. Defensively, we always assume the Baltimore Ravens are one of the best, but they will have some challenges this year. What's the focus going to be in training camp in terms of answering those questions? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is how do you replace Terrell Suggs? And we mentioned Courtney Upshaw. He's a guy that I think you know, he's going to step in for Jarrett Johnson, who they lost in free agency. He's got to deliver a bit of a pass rush. Paul Kruger, you know, as a pass rusher, playing more full time now. Those two guys, Kruger and Upshaw, are the guys to keep an out, a look at, you know, outside linebacker. I think they really are maybe the keys to this defense. Well, and every team needs some young veterans to take a big step, probably as much on defense as anywhere for the Ravens. Who should we keep an eye on there? Torrey Smith, the wide receiver, I think is someone you really to keep an eye on because when you look at what he was able to do last year as a rookie, uh, I think it was very impressive. You know, he's a guy that could be a thousand yard guy this year. And Jimmy Smith, all the talent in the world, got to become a little bit more consistent, but he certainly can take that step. We know there's veterans on the bubble in every training camp around the country for the Baltimore Ravens. Who should be worried about their paycheck? Well, you go back to last year at this time, Bryant McKinney was a guy that was on the outs in Minnesota. He lands in Baltimore questions about the conditioning again with Bryant McKinney. So he's got to be in shape. And Billy Cundiff's got to shake off that miss in the AFC title game. And, you know, how those two areas sort of kind of come together remain to be seen. I think there are issues really to watch here in Baltimore. You know, it's interesting with the Ravens even going into camp. We know they're going to be good. Good enough, I think, is the question this year. For all 32 of our NFL team training camp reports, you want to stay right where you are. ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week.